Well, hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another Simple Truth update. And uh, today, I really don't know if I'm gonna entitle this a uh, Simple Truth rant, part another rant, but I'm not really sure yet. Just bear with me. But what I am gonna share with you today, have, have my coffee here, and as I'm driving, I spilt my coffee. Woo! Um, what I want to come in and want to talk to you about today is how we are living in a world today where men, and I mean mankind, hum humans, but also men, think themselves greater than what they are. We have a whole lot of people that want to lead, but yet they don't first have the ability to follow. There's an old saying that goes, in order to be a great leader, you have to be one that is willing to follow. And there seems to be a big, a big disconnect happening out here that people believe that they can be leaders of men but yet in in most cases they're not leaders of their own household they're not let, let, let's take a step back let's start at the origin they're not leaders of themselves they're not leaders of their own household of their of their own spiritual walk of their children but yet they want to believe that they have the ability to lead others. And see, it all comes from the fact that they see others in a position of leadership and they think that, oh, well, I possess some of those qualities or, or I think I can do that. And again, they think themselves greater than what they have the capacity to be able to actually execute. That's the words I want to use. They have the ability to be able to think themselves greater than what they have the ability to do. It causes a lot of friction. It causes a lot of division. And I'm just one that fully and truly believes that to be able to be trusted or to be able to be one who can lead you have to show yourself capable of leading and it, it, it just it really and truly amazes me what's going on I, I'm, I'm going to quote my pastor uh, pastor Dow when he says that you know people or men don't follow titles they follow strength and the world we live in today has given people the false impression that because they have a title, you know, I, I find that in the, in, in the work environment or in the, in the uh, sometimes even in the political arena, the business world, that's what I meant to say when I said work, the business world, it seems as if the moment someone gets a title, that title goes to their head. And really what it does is it really shuts off any ability to be able to think more clearly. So it doesn't, but that title blocks anything from the neck up of anyone being able to, to think capably or responsibly. Now, I'm not saying that for everybody when they get a title, but this dispensation of time that we live in, in this generation, this generation, boy, they, they, when they, they get things so easily, but they really don't appreciate the things that they receive or that, that they're, uh, that they are getting. It's really sad if you really think about it, but 
just because let me let me also say this that just because a person sees qualities in someone else that causes them to be able to follow someone in the military whether you may like that drill sergeant or that staff sergeant that master sergeant whether you like them or not if you're a corporal or a private it is your duty to humble yourself and that humbling comes from the boot camp experience where you are taught how to respect authority and the civilian that is in you is weeded out. Let's use that for a lack of better terms. It's weeded out of you and you learn how to follow leadership. It's not you learn how to follow leadership according to your feelings and emotions. No, no. And, uh, you know, when it comes to that type of situation and circumstance, feelings and emotions, they don't mean anything. It's who has the experience and who is in the place of leadership. That is who you follow. So in the civilian world, or let's even say in the belief arena, when there is a man who has done what is necessary to meet the most high's requirements and he is set up in leadership do we not in our reverence to the most high owe that leader that the most high has set up do we not owe him the respect that we give the most high for making that decision. Again, it's not about feelings and emotion. It's about obedience. It's about being able to humble yourself and come under submission to one that was put in a position of authority. See, we've become too indoctrinated by this world that tells us, you know, it used to be a time when children, especially young boys, when they played sports, there was a winner and there was a loser. Everybody did not get, you did not, everybody did not get, you know, a prize for just participating. It didn't happen like that. And now that is, you know, has bled over into adult leadership situations where people think that everyone should have a say so doesn't go that way if you come from the generation that I came from I remember very clearly my grandparents and my parents telling me you do as I say as long as you're under our or my roof let me just leave you with this. As long as you make the choice to be under the roof, so to speak, of the creator of the universe, whoever he has placed in charge, you are to be in a humbled position. And just because you're humbled doesn't mean that you're any less of a man see a lot of people equate being humble with emasculation or being emasculated that's not the case humble thyself in the sight of Yahweh the most high Elohim creator of the universe this has been the simple truth and as I always tell you it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again on another episode real soon. Just because you think you're a leader 
that doesn't make you a leader. Take care, everybody.